We all know that inner voice, life's whispers you may call it, or the message from the universe, that arises in the heart right before you are aiming to attempt something new or something important. But how many times are we encouraged to listen to that inner voice and act accordingly? An incredible young woman named Malu Hemson once shared with me that growing up, every time her family gathered to take an important decision, everyone brought their thoughts and insights to the table. And even if her brother said that we should do this because he had read so or he had facts to prove or experiences to share, and young Malu said, we should do this because I feel so, the parents would pay attention to that. Her parents would encourage and validate both the worldly outlook as well as the inner voice. And so, Malu grew up with a beautiful life lesson. Consider your intuition to be a valid argument. How wonderful is that, right? For years, I listened to polls and read articles about how impactful it is to make resolution lists and stick by them. And so as the last year retired and the new year was commencing, I would fill my journals with promises of 16 countries I wanted to travel or 12 books I would read or the language I was going to learn and the gym I was going to hit for sure. But those things never reached their completion points and I had enough blames and reasons of why I was procrastinating or was not able to fulfill them. Despite the fact that my intuition told me to drop the act of doing the popular thing of making a list because it wasn't working for me and try something new. Malu's life lesson of considering your intuition to be a valid argument encouraged me to start a small yet significant habit. Ever since I sit every December and try to pick a theme or a word I would like to follow through and through for the next year. Something that I, I can practice sincerely for the next 365 days. In 2015, I chose the word awesome. So every time I had to make or step out to do something, I asked myself, does this make me feel awesome? Nah, or yes, and I would do so. In 2016, I picked the word grace. And in my extreme moments of anger, I held on to my temper. I controlled my anxiety or my wish to do something harmful and just be graceful. In 2017, I was guided by the word create and I made and built beautiful things like the series Twice as Vice. In 2018, I cheered on the word celebrate for every single progress I made amidst all the big reasons for merry making. My life now is much more relaxed. My days and weeks filled with a sense of gratitude and not an immense pressure to just tick off something on a random list. Paying attention to your inner voice helps you move into the direction of your best life. So what decision are you going to consider your intuition to be a valid argument for? I hope the noise of the world or the popular things don't get in your way and that fuels your day. Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs>